So I'm sure a question you get all the time is parents get nervous if their daughter didn't make the top team, then what does that mean for her in terms of recruiting? Like, can she still get a full scholarship? So we never promise that they can get a full scholarship. Mm -hmm. um, we promise an opportunity. There are over, you know, let's say a thousand opportunities out there for young players to play, whether it's Division One, Division Two, II, Division Three, NAI, or junior college. Right. There are multiple opportunities out there. Mm -hmm. um, I can never pr promise a scholarship, but I can promise an opportunity. And I, we, in all the years that I've been doing this, we haven't had any issues finding that right fit for a for spot the for a, a spot kid. for a kid to play. That's great. Um, it won't necessarily be for a scholarship opportunity, and that's why I really encourage them to continue to work hard in school because academics plays a bigger role in the scholarship allotments than athletic does. Wow. So the because of that, thousands of opportunities out there, um, understanding where that right fit is um, is really important. So because there are Division One to Division Three junior college and NAIA. A kid that's playing volleyball, let's look at a setter, for for, for instance. Mm -hmm. You can only have two setters on a team. So we understand that there are two on the top team. The next two are probably going to be on your second team and so on. Yep. There are still needs for those setters out there. So even though if you got a really good club, you're still going to be a top six setter Definitely, in the country yeah. compared to a lot of other smaller clubs that don't have the pool to draw from. Definitely. So they're still, they need those setters. They understand the training that you're getting. They're going to want to recruit you because... Every team needs a setter. Yep. And their setters and middle blockers are probably my two most sought after positions, even to May going into your senior really? year, mm -hmm. because they lose a middle or they lose a setter and there's not Back the up. plethora of those positions out there. So if you if you want to play in college, have that opportunity to play in club. It doesn't matter the team name. Coaches never come to me and go, oh, well, she's on this team. Nope. I probably don't want to recruit her. Nope. If you've got a uniform on and a number on and they can see you play, they can find out if what you offer them on the court fits their their need yep. and the and the kind of athlete they're looking for. Yes. They could care less about the team name. I think the point you make that's so great for people to understand is that I think the storylines are always with the Division One, the top teams. So they think, they see that, and, oh, I could never play there. Well, understanding there's so many different levels of D2, D3 that everybody can find a spot if they truly want to. That's right. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely.